Hey y'all, Miss Smith here, and today I'm going to be showing you um, the autodraw.com website and basically saving you basically drawing online if you don't have access to pen or paper <laughs> while turning in like say an assignment requires you to draw your options depending on what your teacher tells you. Um, usually for my students is your options are you could draw it by hand and then send me a picture or you could use this auto draw website. So I'm going to show you the website. Just I'm not going to show like every little bits of it, but just show you the parts of the website that matter as far as like using it and turning your picture depending on what the assignment is. OK, here we go. So again, I want to go to autodraw.com and it's going to take me to this page, this page right here. So what I want to do is I'm just going to go ahead and click start drawing. And notice it's a blank canvas. Again, the mechanics right here on the side, on the left, there's auto draw, there's regular draw, type, fill, shapes, kind of like any other drawing application. So again, just kind of like fiddle around with it. So if you have auto draw on, it will try and find uh, see right here. So auto draw. So if you have the auto draw on up here after you've drawn your picture, it'll go ahead and give you what you're trying to look for. If you want to be fancy smancy and just draw your own without auto draw, you just go and click the drawing. Okay, here you can change your colors, etc. and so forth. So let's say my assignment was to just draw to draw an abiotic factor and a biotic factor. Let's, let's just say that that's what my assignment was, okay? So abiotic factor, let's say it would be, I'm going to do auto draw because why not? Let's say I want that to be my abiotic factor. I'm going to use a type. And I'm going to say abiotic water. Okay, and I can go ahead and move it here. And let's say I want to draw my biotic factor. So, oops. Remember, abiotic is living and biotic excuse me, abiotic is non-living and biotic is living. And then, boom, I already have my picture. And And again, this is just a very quick, simple drawing, okay? So let's say this is my picture. I'm done. I'm ready to turn it in. So what I need to do is I need to go in the upper left-hand corner where the little ladders are. And what I need to do is I need to go ahead and click Share or Download. So I'm going to show you both of them, okay? So if I download it, it's going to come up on my actual computer as a download, okay? But if we need if I need you to share it with me via Jupyter or Google Classroom depending on how you're turning your assignment in, then you need to go to the share. Okay? So it's going to prepare to share your creation. What you're going to do is you're going to copy the link and boom, your link is copied. So if you are turning it into Google Classroom or you're turning it in, into Jupyter Ed, again, depending on what platform your teacher is using, you're going to take that copied link and you're going to post it to wherever it is you need to post it. Okay? So let's say, for example, I'm using Jupyter Ed. And I need to post it to, just as an example, this, this assignment right here. I'm going to go ahead, click new link, and paste it. 
and click OK, and boom, it's turned in. Now, okay, so this is just a obviously as a teacher, I'm not a student, so but I, I I'm not a student to a biology course or course. But I am a student for like one of our teacher courses. So let I know it says I've already turned in my work and yay 40 out of 40, yay me. But let's say I want to go ahead and turn in my picture. So what I want to do is I want to click again, pretend this is your actual assignment, you're turning the work in. So what you want to do is you're going to click add. You're going to do link. And you're going to paste the link and add the link. Okay. And that's it. So whether you're doing your, whether you're turning in your drawing via, you know, Jupyter Ed or Google Classroom, this is just another way to basically do a picture on the internet. If you don't have pen, paper, color pencils, and all that at home, and you don't want to upload a picture. Again, please make sure you turn in your drawing however your teacher is requesting you to do it. This is just another way to basically draw digitally, at least. Anyways, thank you guys for watching this video, and I will see you in the next one. Later.